Hello, my name is Yusuf Ramadan, and today I'm going to be storytelling or telling a story uh, uh, of a folktale by the name of the Household Snake, an Egyptian African folktale. So, uh, I'm going to start right now. So, a long, 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 long time ago, decades, decades, and years and years ago, in the city of Cairo, Egypt, there was one of many myths called the Household Snake. The household snake was a myth where there was an ancient serpent who would protect a household. And this household must be favored by God only. And if these serpents protected these houses, then they would protect these humans from evil and other reptiles. So the story starts off in a small house in a peaceful village in the eastern side of Cairo. The house of Sajj Muhammad, his wife and his two sons. But in that peaceful house, there was also a peaceful snake family. And in that peaceful snake family, there was a peaceful mother. The mother snake. And that mother had two baby snakes. But what these two baby snakes didn't know about is what the household snakes actually do. They didn't know that household snakes never, ever shall be seen or exposed to humans. So one day, baby snake is talking to the other baby snake and says, Hey, I'm bored. Why don't we go out and discover the garden? Okay, let's go. I want to wiggle outside to the garden. So they both decide to wiggle outside to the garden. Wiggle. They wiggle. Wiggle with me, guys. Wiggle. Wiggle, 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 until the two baby sons, two baby brothers and two baby sons of Sajj Muhammad see those two baby snakes wiggling around and they decide, why don't we go and play with those snakes? So they grab the snakes and they twist them and turn them and put them onto the rope and Slide them to the end of the patchy, to the beginning of the patchy, on from the beginning of the patchy, to the end of the patchy, on from the end of the patchy, to the beginning of the patchy, on from the beginning of the patchy, to the end of the patchy. Until Mother Snake arrives and sees those two snakes being tortured and says, I shall never, ever serve that family ever again. And it is my duty to have revenge against them. Mother Snake with great vengeance. Sees a zir of water. Zir is another term for jar in the Arab region. And in that zir of water, she decides to slither through the garden. Okay. She slithers and 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 slithers till she reaches the jar of water. And in it and when she reached that jar of water, she spat and spat and spat and spat and spat and spat and spit, and spit all her venom into that water. Now any person from that family that drank from that water would die instantly from the snake's venom. Moments pass until Sajj Muhammad decides to arrive to the home and when he arrives he sees his two boys torching the two snakes and he says hey kids what are you doing you can't ever do these to snakes snakes are sacred animals that are part of our culture and shall never be harmed you shall never ever ever do this again do you hear me yes father we are sorry the two snakes are released and decide to wiggle back to their father and say I miss you mother I miss you the mother sees the father release the snakes and is relieved but then she realize, she hears the father asking for a cup of water with a fast reaction and epiphany she realizes that there's still venom in the water so she slithers and 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 slithers into the cup of water and when she reaches the jar of water she wraps her body around the jar of water. And when she wraps her body around, around the jar of water, she squeezes and 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 squeezes until the jar breaks into 99 pieces. And 99 pieces 
was an unusual number during that time. They thought it was again a bad spirit until they didn't know that it was their sacred snake who saved their lives.